James Webb has just confirmed a supermassive black hole tearing through space at 2.2 million miles per hour, and that immediately raises the physics problem. What could possibly do this? Accelerating a supermassive black hole to that speed without breaking the laws of physics would not be a simple task. JWST's infrared sensitivity allowed astronomers to analyze star formation along the streak, gas excitation levels, and velocity dispersion relative to the host galaxy. And what they found was astonishing. At the leading edge of the streak sits an actively feeding supermassive black hole, displaced from the galaxy center. In general relativity, gravitational waves aren't just vibrations. They carry energy, angular momentum, and linear momentum away from the system. If momentum leaves the system preferentially in one direction, the merged black hole must recoil in the opposite direction. Most of this recoil does not happen gradually. It happens in the final milliseconds of the merger. At this moment, orbital velocities approach relativistic speeds, space-time coverture becomes extreme. The newly formed black hole recoils in the opposite direction. Simulations predict recoil velocities of up to 5,000 kilometers per second. A supermassive black hole moving at 2.2 million miles per hour is no longer just a theoretical possibility. It wasn't pushed, it wasn't propelled, it was launched by the only thing powerful enough to do it space-time itself.